Hiya, welcome back to beautiful sunny Northumberland. I don't want to bang on about it, but it has been a crazy year for the weather so far. Middle of May, it's quite hot, but it's overcast, uh, forecast for rain, and the wind's going to pick up from the north later on. However, the good news is the water's crystal clear. I've got the fish black minnows rigged up. I'm going to head around the corner there and see if we can grab a couple of nice pollock and maybe a few little fat coddling. That would be lovely. I'll catch you in a bit. Right, first drop eh, the tide's running pretty strong, it's a reasonably sizeable tide today. Uh, I'm going to head north with it because uh, the tide's still going out, it's the last of the ebb. Um, and that's good because that'll take us over all of that lovely rough ground I was getting the pollock on earlier on. And then the tide will turn around in about an hour and a half and push us back down towards the bay, you know. So we'll give it a go and we'll see how we do eh. The water's crystal clear, that's the good thing. I mean. I've only got the glow in the dark on, so you can't really see that that far down because it doesn't start to shine until it gets much deeper. But, uh, oh yeah, fantastic. Get in. As long as the wind doesn't come up too much from the east, we should be laughing today. Can't see why we wouldn't catch, like. Famous last words. Get it. Oh, I missed it. I got, I got a bite and missed it. Damn it. Come back and have another go. Did you have another go? Nah, nearly. How are you, man? Well, there's life down there. There's life down there indeed. Oh, I think that was the bottom that time, like I'm not gonna wear, uh, get myself too excited. First time though was definitely a bite because it was a bang bang. Definitely a take on the lure. Oh, I missed that one and all <laughs> bloody hell. What's going on, man? I'm gonna have to check it in a minute and make sure I haven't buried the hook point in there somehow. Got that one. Yes! <laughs> Oh, now it's off. I don't believe it. Got this one. Get in. <laughs> I knew there was fish down there. I was keep getting hit continuously. But I just wasn't making them stick. Let's get this one up and see what we've got, eh? Get in, little coddling. That's why they're not sticking, because they're not big. Oh, I don't want to be kicking me fish finder off. Right, let's just uh, get the hook out of this fella, then we'll uh, we'll get him back in. Kind of a tricky one, that mate. Oh, what have you done, man? Right, I'm going to have to get the old forceps out to get this fella away. But do not fear, buddy, we'll get you sorted. There you go, pal. And he's off. Right. <laughs> Put your fish finder back on and get down there. Might stick the old tribute back on in a minute, like, because uh, the water's beautifully clear, so I don't really need the glow in the dark. But I'm going to give the tribute a shot, actually. Uh, might as well, it's served as well so far this year. So I'll just uh, switch it out. Don't want that one, it's a bit scabby. I want a fresh one. That'll do. Let the old glow in the dark charge up for a little bit. We might put it back on in a while, we'll see. Can't get me clip undone though. There we go. Right. Oh, that sh that sticks out all right. 
gosh, I can see that. Right the way down to there, which is 15 foot easy. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> I was literally just starting the camera there. And uh, pick me rod up and bash, I was in. Feels a little bit better than the last one. Let's have a little look and see what we've got here. <laughs> Another little fat here on the old tribute. Well, that's a good start. I'm still on the first drift. I restarted because uh, I just wanted to reset my camera. And uh, here we go. Second fish of the day. Let's get you back, mate. We'll get down there and we'll get ourselves another one, eh? Get in. Oh no, that's the bottom. That's not what we want. Uh, right. Oh, f me, that snapped off at the rod tip. Damn it! I must have been tangled up. Right, so I've rigged up a new lure and uh, I've taken the opportunity to paddle a little bit further north to get over all that ground again, you know, where I, I lost that pollock that we never talk about and where I got that lovely one. Um, I'm sticking with a tribute minnow at the moment. I've put the drogue out. Might make the ride a little bit jerky with this swell, but we'll see. But I've put the drogue out to try and keep us pointing in the same direction because what happened before was I ended up uh, getting me line underneath the kayak and uh, what happened was when it got uh, snagged up the line hit the bottom of the kayak and uh, that's why it broke off so high up so early I'm uh, wondering what's going on here because this is a bit weird Have I got the line wrapped around me rod? No. Is it just because it's embedded in here? It might be. Right. Anyway, I'm on the bottom. See if we can get another fish. That would be delightful. Get it. <laughs> it's not very big, this, like, tiny, whatever it is, I think. Oh, well. It's pulling a little bit more now, but uh, I don't think it's going to be anything to write home about. Get in. Look at that monster. Proper leviathan, that one. What were you thinking, mate? I mean, you couldn't even get that in. Look at it. Maybe it was just trying to hang out with it or get off with it or something like that. I don't know. Right, let's have another one. Get in! <laughs> Took us by surprise, that one. Oh, this feels canny. Get in. Hope that seal doesn't come and have a go at it. <laughs> Taking a little bit of line. I'm going to guess Pollock, but, uh, you know, I quite often get it wrong. Oh, man. Look at that! <laughs> I'm happy with this fella. Look at the size of his gob. Get in. Oh, he's just crapped all over us, but hey. Easy tiger, and we'll get you back in a minute. Look at that. There's a canny stamp of fish out here, isn't there? Hey? Let's not mess around. We'll get that little fella away. And, uh, wait, all the pap off us. We'll get back down and get another one, eh? Right, I've come a little bit further out because it was getting slightly, well, boring in there, to be honest with you, because I wasn't catching anything other than rocks. Uh, the ground's good, but maybe I just need a little bit more water because the tide's not really running as fast as it was. I've put the drogue out, but I'm not sure which direction I'm going to drift in now because that tide must have changed by now because low water was supposed to be around about 11 o'clock. It's nearly 12 o'clock now, and I was still drifting north, so we'll see how we do, eh?
Get in. Hey, it was worth coming out a bit. Doesn't feel very big. But, uh, oh, well, it's not too bad, but it's first fish I've seen in a while, so I'm pleased about that. What we got? Another little piggy. The size of a man. Have you seen how much of that lure, that tiny fish, has got in its mouth? Right, let's uh, see if we can get you away. Back in that way. Through there. And unharmed. Whoop, see you, mate. <laughs> right. Let's have another one. A little bit bigger this time, please. Get in. Is it? <laughs> it's a little bit better this one. A little bit better than the last one. Wasn't sure what was going on there. How are you, mate? Let's be having a look at you. Just putting a canny bend in this fella. Here we go. Little fatty codlin. <laughs> Coming up backwards, that's why he was putting the bend in the rod. But uh, hey, not a bad fish, eh? Get in. Oh, I'm pleased with that. It's going all right today, isn't it? It's going all right so far. Let's have a look here, buddy. Let's pop you back. See you, mate. Ah, well, there might be a few fish left in this lure lake. It's looking a bit tatty now, but we'll get it back down and we'll have another shot there. Get in. <laughs> just coming over some shallow ground there. Uh, it's just uh, the depth changed from sort of 17 metres to 14 metres in a short space of time. And I was wondering if I'd pick a fish up. There we go. Another codlin. Get in. Get in. Right. Let's get this fella unhooked and we'll get it away. Eh? Let's get that out. There we are. There you go, little chap, but uh, happy to see him. Let's uh, untangle that. Check the lure. Let's have another one, eh? Get in. Oh, that doesn't feel bad. That doesn't feel bad at all, that one. Oh, he's taking a bit of line. I was just thinking I'm in quite deep water now. I'm in sort of 20 odd meters. Let's get this up and have a look at it. Get in. <laughs> See what we've got, eh? It's putting a canny bend in the rod, isn't it? Wonder if it's a pollock. Ah, we'll soon find out. Can't see anything yet, mind. Where is it? <laughs> That's a proper cod, that. <laughs> proper cod, that. Oh, don't you come off there, mate. Look at the size of the head on this thing, man. <laughs> don't bite me finger. If you don't bite me finger, we'll get you out, mate. It's, uh, it's a bit angry, this chap, like. Get the hook out. There we go. The size of the head on this chap. Hey? Whoop, easy. He's a canny size, isn't he? He's a chunky one. How are you then, mate? Let's get you straight back down there. What a lovely fish, eh? See you, pal. Get in. <laughs> That's cod. Oh, look at the state of us. I'm absolutely covered in cod poo. Well, you know, I'm not that upset. I'll get the lure back down and then I'll clean all this crap off us. And uh, we'll get this tangle out first. What's going on there, man? There we go. <laughs> Look at the state of us, man. I don't know if you can see us. I'm absolutely covered in cod poo. Right. Jesus. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, <laughs> oh man. How are you? Let's get cleaned up. Get another couple of fish. Right. <laughs> right so the tide has very definitely turned around 
So I'm going to fish over uh, some ground on the south side of the North Sunderland marker and uh, see how we do. That's nice and bright, isn't it? <laughs> see if we can get a fish. I've got me uh, swivel stuck in my eye there, but now we're away. Get it! <laughs> Brilliant! I was just thinking that tide's running quite strong now. Perfect time for a fish and uh, here we go. I did see a seal before like so hopefully he's uh, got other things on his mind rather than my fish. But uh, let's have a look see what we've got eh? Feels canny. Can't see it yet mind. Let's have a look how we're doing. Yes! Another codlin. Get in. <laughs> Happy with that. Brilliant. Now, don't crap all over us, please. Because uh, I've just cleaned all the other stuff off. There we go. Firmly hooked that fella. There we are. Another nice little codlin. We'll get him back. See you, mate. He's away. No problems there. Oh yeah, this looks magic, this ground, doesn't it? There's loads of features here. It's a bit shallower than the water I've been catching in so far today, but uh, I think it's worth a look like, because there's fish in here. <laughs> For sure. There we go. Brilliant, eh? What we've got. Hey, it's another codlin. There's plenty of them about today, isn't there? Oh, released itself that one. You'll have to take my word for it. Right, let's get your big brother. I'm in. I knew I'd be in because I can see the fish on the sound. I get up. There's <laughs> a lovely little feature there. Oh, get in. There's loads of fish over it. <laughs> what we got? Let's have a look. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good looking coddling that. I'll tell you. All right, mate. Plenty of fighting them. Oh, he wasn't messing around with that lure there, was he? Hey. Right. Let's get that out. We'll have a look at you and then we'll get you away. Point your butt away from his legs. I don't want to be covered in cack again. There we are. Leave me braid alone. Ow. Finger. There you go. Look at him. Go on, mate. Whoop. He's away. All right, let's get back down so we can get another one. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to mark this spot because that was a really nice little feature there were lots of fish hanging around off it so we'll call this beadnell three i think right let me just adjust myself correctly for the drift uh i'm kind of gonna drift back towards beadnell now uh because i'm only gonna stay out for maybe another hour so i think i'll just go backwards and forwards uh, over this ground closer in to uh, where I launched from and where obviously I'm going to land just to save us a big long paddle at the end of the day because uh, I'm a bit tired. Hopefully we'll pick up a few more fish though before then. Get it! <laughs> at last, it's been a little while. It's nice to know they're knocking around here closer in for me drift home. Let's have a look. See what we've got. You guessed it. Another codlin. <laughs> Get in. Oh, it's took some fish today, the tribute minnow, I'll tell you that. Right, there we go. Little buddy. We'll catch you later, mate. When you're a little bit bigger. Right. There's one or two more fish left in that yet. We'll get back down there, eh? Right, for the last uh, 
Last 10 minutes of this drift, I think I'm going to stick myself a glow in the dark fish black minnow on. It's been sat on there charging all day. I think I got the first fish on that, didn't I? Um, and I did all right with it at Whitley the other day. So we'll stick it on and we'll give it a, a whirl for 10 minutes and then, uh, and then I think I'm going to call it a day. Get in. Oh, I missed it. Did I get it? Yes. <laughs> it was right at the top of me. Uh, jig there when I was sweeping up so I wasn't quite sure whether or not I'd hit it <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with another little codlin I think and uh, and I'm right get in one down with the glow in the dark eh? <laughs> right let's uh, point your backside the other way so you don't pop all over us we'll get you off and uh, We'll get you away, mate. See you in a bit. Let's have another one of them, eh? That'd be good. Brilliant. It's been fish all day, really. I've really enjoyed that. It's been very consistent. I thought I was snagging the bottom a little bit there, but uh, obviously I was getting a few hits. So uh, we'll get back down, see if we can grab another one before we go home, eh? <laughs> that was on the way down, so I wonder what this is. That ripped the line out of my hand as I was uh, free spooling it to the bottom. What have I got? It's another codlin, and it's a chunky monkey, this one. Look at that! Hey, it was quite a way off the bottom, that, you know, for a codlin. Magic, eh? Get in. I'll just, uh, wait, if you just stop trying to bite me finger, we'll get the hook out and we'll get you away, mate. Just, right. Do you know what? Don't make it easy for us, whatever you do. Let's uh, get the old pliers onto that one. There we go. How are you, mate? Play the game, man. Right, hang on. Let's just sort this mess out, mate. There we go. That's me finger, that, man. We'll get him. We'll get him in the end. Let's try the old uh, thumb in there. There we go. Just needed the thumb. <laughs> He's full of life. And a little nibble on the way out. I'll chuck him back. He's every right to be vexed, like, but, you know, you don't have to take it too far, mate. More, more blood, thanks to the cod. Right. One last drop. I've been saying that for about an hour, mind. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Another one. Brilliant. I'm in quite a bit of water now, sort of 18 metres. But I could feel that the bottom was really rough with the lure, so I was hopeful that I would pick another fish up. Get in. There's a nice stamp of codlin that's moved in this last hour or so. Bye. <laughs> well, you'll never see that one. But uh, it was canny. And it's away. Released itself. Saved me the job, eh? Right, that's it for me. You've got to go home eventually. Uh, that last fish getting off was probably an omen, eh? I need to get home. It's Friday night. I'm looking forward to my takeaway. I've had a brilliant day, though. Caught plenty of fish, loads to keep us busy. Got that nice pollock down by the navigation boy. And then that uh, decent cod wasn't far from there either. So all in all, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day out. Uh, the water's crystal clear as well. That's been the bonus for me, how clear this water's been. Uh, listen, if you like my videos, uh, could you do us a favour and subscribe to my channel, please? It doesn't cost you anything, but it makes a huge difference to how many people YouTube chooses to show your videos to. And if you could give this video a thumbs up as well, I'd really appreciate that. And if you want to leave us a comment, I'll always reply. I'll catch you next time.